Hey folks, we are here with Coach Cameron and Coach Carter, and we are going to cover Bull Ride, also known as Mount. All right, we'll start with Coach Carter on the bottom, Coach Cameron's on top, and we're going to go over some details. So first thing with her feet, we're going to have prayer feet. So she's going to be underneath her partner's legs and touching feet. That's why we call it prayer feet and close to his butt. She's going to have wide knees for, for base, and then she's going to basically melt like water, like a wet bag of sand with wide arms on top of her partner, okay? Nice and relaxed. So that's going to be our, our goal position, okay? So if they switch sides, we're going to talk about the different pressures from the bottom person. So Carter, again, is going to have prayer feet, Nice and close. So instinct, the bottom person, typically, if it's on the playground or on the street, they're going to try and push you straight up. They're going to try and strong arm you up. When they do this, the top person is going to swim one hand at a time through to get back into their position. So again, they get pushed straight up. They're going to swim one at a time, get back into their position. Boom. If, so Cameron's going to push them back up. If our top person, why do we only go one at a time? So if the top person tried to put both hands through at the same time, the bottom person can clamp onto their hands and sweep them. We definitely don't want that. So we go one hand at a time. Okay? So again, next, next pressure. So instead of going straight up, they might push them to the side. Okay? Or they might throw them to the side. So top person, you want to grab their head, okay, back of their head, back of their neck, a good grab so that you don't get thrown away, keep your legs together, there we go, keep those legs tucked, keep that prayer feet, and the far hand is based really wide so that he doesn't get thrown. All right, so we'll switch sides one more time. Coach Cameron will be on top. So we talked about those pressures. So Cameron's going to get into her position. Bottom person is going to maybe push straight up. Okay. Parents, you might have to help um, if you're kind of on top to get them a feel for these things. But typically parents and bigger siblings, you guys will be on the bottom. So she's going to swim one at a time if they push straight up. If they push sideways, she's going to grab onto the head, sideways, she's going to grab onto the head. And one more thing that they might do is they might push on the knee. So they might try to push on the knee to slide it and get their guard back. So when they do that, we're just going to grab their wrist or their elbow and fling it up. So again, the bomb person, your elbows are in. And you're trying to push on that knee, they're going to just lift it up. Now ideally, what we want to do is anytime their elbows drift away from their body, so for example, if they go to push on the knee, when we lift this up, there's a big pocket, we're going to slide our knee right into that armpit, into a high mount. So anytime we can get into their armpits, that's ideal because that's going to give us all of our attacks. We can attack the arms, we're up high on their chest, we can't really get bucked off, and we're going to keep our position. Okay? So that's our start. We're going to do a second video of something fun that you can do for some of the older kids. Thank you very much to Coach Carter, Coach Cameron. Parents, give them lots of reps. Try and give them different pressures. Lift them straight up, lift them to the side, and that should be it. Cheers!